plaintiff, Danny Boy Stewart, was signed by Death Row Records at the age of 15. As he got older, Danny started living life on the down low, and he finally decided to come out after his boyfriend committed suicide. He's suing his older brother today for breach of contract. Defendant Robert Stewart says he is extremely proud of Danny's success. And not only did he encourage him to pursue his music career, but he also encouraged him to live his life as a proud gay man. Robert feels Danny is suing him prematurely because he knows Robert has suffered from medical issues. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. Please be seated. State your name. Hi, sir. My name is uh, Danny Stewart, Danny Boy Stewart. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know that's Danny Boy. Oh, you. I heard, uh, I heard Danny Def Boy Sam. before. Yes, sir. His biggest record was the one on Tupac's I Ain't uh, Mad At You. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just read his autobiography last year. Wow, thank you, sir. I thought you might be one that could give me the most thorough understanding of what went on at Death Row with Suge because you were like a son to him. Yes, I was. To Suge Knight. Yes, I was. And so knowing that, I know you could give a little more insight than the average person. Wow, thank you. I Tell mean, real, real, real deal. What's the name of it again, Danny Boy? The name of the book is called Stranded on Death Row. Stranded on Death Row. It's yes. a good book. I read it. Thank you. Okay. Wow. And give us some background on you and your brother's relationship or yourself. Yeah, everyone wants to hear your journey. Well, my birth name is Danny Boy Stewart. I am a West Side baby, West Side of Chicago. Uh, that's my brother, Robert Stewart, my big brother, my older brother. And I signed to Death Row Records when I was 15 years old with the aspirations of singing. Uh, I went out to California, signed my first deal, worked with Tupac, as you stated, and- uh, Big hit record. Yeah, yeah, I ain't mad at you. And, and I'm so blessed for it, so honored for it. Uh, throughout all of that, uh, the, through the demise of Death Row, I was adopted by Suge while I was there. Well, he's my legal guardian. And uh, being there uh, and just enjoying that journey there, but at the demise of death row, I moved back to Chicago and uh, I had some hardship. I became homeless. I slept in my car. Uh, I slept at different family members' homes. Worried your grandmama to death? That's, oh, I yeah. worried my grandmother to death. <laughs> you know the story. I worried, I worried my grandmother to death with this singing thing. <laughs> and um, I just always been into it. After a while, I, um, I, I moved to Atlanta, got married divorced and I started living a down low life mm -hmm. and I dated a guy. He committed suicide mm. six months into us dating. And uh, I put it on social media mm. several days after sharing it. I said, finally found, uh, found someone mm. and they committed suicide. Mm. Uh, hashtag, this is real. You think he had uh, any depression based on discrimination? Uh, or rejection yes. by his family and friends yes. of his sexuality. Yes, that was always discussed uh, with him. Uh, I'm so his... mad with these yeah. homophobes. Yeah. Who like Danny Boy? Yeah. That's courage. <laughs> Thank you. That's courage. Thank That's you. courage. <laughs> you ran around with Suge Knight, tough crowd. I don't care about that. Yes. I got the courage to be who I am or say who I am at whatever point. Yes, and sir. so I applaud you for that. Thank and you, I sir. hate that your partner at that time committed suicide. It's, it's given me uh, a lot of strength uh, just knowing how important life is and what's really important. I don't mind uh, or don't be bothered what people think about me. I'm so excited uh, to be who I am. I am so excited for that. And uh, moving back to Chicago, I, I decided uh, this is my fourth attempt at a restaurant. Uh, the name of the restaurant is called Old Danny Boys. Mm, uh, where? And it's, uh, it's on the west side of Chicago, on Jackson in California. And uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a kiss to pop culture. Uh, I have food like the Tupac Burger or Bernie Macaroni. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> the restaurant not on Jackson in California. I'm sorry. My restaurant is on Western in Ogden. Thank you. Whatever. Uh <laughs> wow. I, thought, wow. I thought you was about to say, make sure you mention the burger that's named after me. So that's what I was just going to say. I have a... Uh, him? I have Al Green. You have a burger named not, after not him. Not after him. I was talking about you. I'm smoked trying to get it. burger. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you smoke chick. Like you have smoke. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> you have smoked salmon? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You should take pride. <laughs> if he has a sandwich in your name, yes. you should take pride. Yes. <laughs> uh, Come yes, on. So, uh, so these bills, I can't wait to get a judge map this bill as well. Uh, but uh, I martyr myself as the singing chef. And um, this place, I came back to Chicago with the, with the intent of bringing family in, building something, building a legacy for my kids. Just read his autobiography last year. Wow, thank you, sir. I thought you might be one that could give me the most thorough understanding of what went on at Death Row with Suge because you were like a son to him. Yes, I was. To Suge Knight. Yes, I was. And so knowing that, I know you could give a little more insight than the average person. Plaintiff Danny Boy Stewart is suing his brother who claims he encouraged Danny to pursue his music career, and Danny ended up signing with Death Row Records at the age of 15. Tell me about yourself. Uh, well, Your Honor, first of all, I'm not no crackhead. I didn't say you were a crackhead! <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't understand! I know that's your show. <laughs> but I didn't say that! <laughs> Go ahead, sir. But my name is Robert Stewart. Um, Danny, of course, is, is stated as my younger brother. Very proud of him. Mm -hmm. we're, we're seven siblings of us, uh, with Danny being the youngest. Uh, we grew up in the church, uh, singing in the choir in different places. Um, and watching Danny grow, uh, it came to me really good because as a child, my dream was to become a singer. My mom, uh, rest in peace, she just didn't want her kids in the music industry. Not even gospel? Uh, no, she, she had her own reasons for that. Uh, and of course, I, um, I, I just couldn't accept that, but I had to, because in those days, you had to accept what they said. Mm -hmm. uh, but when Danny came up and I, uh, realized that he was in the music industry, that, that was something that he wanted to do. Of course, I was very proud to see that uh, he really came up doing what I always mm -hmm. wanted to do. So that made me, I really was excited about that. Um, my mom on her uh, deathbed, she did get a chance to see some of Danny's success. And I think she became pretty proud of him. Of course, I promise you. Uh, I was excited because I felt like, oh yeah, she finally gave in. So that was a good thing. I followed Danny uh, through his career and um, I just told him, hey, just go ahead and do it. You know, right. we got to hide a little bit for mama, but go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, um, I say mama be proud. I like to get back to the homophobia because that's part of my mission in life to reduce it. My son is gay. That's probably the reason I fight so hard. So I want to see how your family treated him when they found out his sexuality. Well, your honor, um... How many homophobes in the family? It's, there's a few. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, when Danny came out, in, uh, what was it, 2016? Mm -hmm. It was, I think I was one of the last ones he actually let know. But when he finally did come to me, I, I pretty much encouraged him to live his life. You're a good big brother. Right. We had a lot of family members that did judge him. I mean, even on Facebook and different things, they would make statements, but... And then they're having sex without marriage, fornicating every night. And probably doing some of the same stuff he talk about somebody else try to pass judgment on what they do based on what they think the Bible means. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. And so Danny come to Detroit, and um, I was living there at the time, and he told me about it, and I mean, I was I was pretty much cool with his decisions. Tell me about the lawsuit. So in 2020, I got old Danny boys, and I started working on the place. And 2021 March. Of, of March, uh, my brother was relocating. Um, while I'm still building on the restaurant, I'm like, wow, let's go ahead and spend some money with family. Maybe I can get my brother to help because I knew that he was skilled in many areas. And um, I talked to him about doing a paint job for me, March, uh, which it was the beginning of March. And March the 19th, I, g I had given him a deposit of $5,000. It was a $10,000 job. Uh, it was for painting interior, exterior, 
uh, punch out work, and the punch out work is basically anything that needed to be fixed to get the look that we were looking yeah, you for. You know who got that money, right? Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm sorry. The paint, the paint shop. And, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, of March, March 19th, he received the deposit. <laughs> And uh, this job, we, we talked, we discussed that it should take about a month to finish. Uh, days went by. He he came by a couple of day, a couple of times, and then weeks went by, then months went by, and I had to uh, eventually get someone else to do the job. I end up spending an, an extra seventy five hundred dollars uh, to finish the job so that I could make my day to open. Tell me, sir, what you do with that money? I did a few things, maybe right. even as you see, I got the pipe drained. Huh? Have you? <laughs> um, yep. Did you get beamed up? I gave it up. <laughs> I was. No, I was past, I was past the beaming. <laughs> <laughs> All I was right. Was past uh, hanging out with Scotty at that time. There you go. Oh, see, you know the whole wrong. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. You know the quote, see. Oh yeah. <laughs> go ahead. But um, even then. You like uh, me? You just have hung around a lot, have been seen a lot because of that. <laughs> Activities in the neighborhood. You ain't ever used it. You like me. You just seen a lot of. Yeah. You yeah. Used it. see how healthy we look. Yes, sir. Do we From look like we ever head. used crack, me and you? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you speak for yourself. Oh, I don't look like I never used it. <laughs> you got me. I like it. Give me back. That's right. Finally, somebody who will give me back. He looked at me. Yeah, Judge. <laughs> you know, an awful lot. I remember you. <laughs> see how healthy we look? Yes, sir. Do we From look the like we the ever head. used crack, me and you? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, you speak for yourself. Oh, I don't look oh, like I did that for you. <laughs> you got me. I like it. Give me back. That's right. Finally, somebody will give me back. Plaintiff Danny Boy Stewart is suing his brother, who claims he encouraged Danny to pursue his music career, and Danny ended up signing with Death Row Records at the age of 15. What defense do you have to not pin your brother? Uh, well, Your Honor, um... My brother did hire me uh, back in uh, 2020. I, I, I went through a, a deep thing on uh, illness. I, ha I suffered uh, two heart surgeries uh, within a three month period, um, as well as uh, surgery on my legs for PVD uh, approximately a month or so later. And my brother being concerned uh, pretty much was on me about moving back home so I can be near family. And uh, he offered me work. Uh, I accepted. We sat down. We talked. We we did agree upon a price. Um, and he did give me, I think he gave me a little more, but I, he did give me money. <laughs> we just say that. I think it was more like. He's in recovery. If he was on drugs, he's in recovery now. When you're that honest, <laughs> that's the first step to recovery. If he was. <laughs> go ahead, mm -hmm. sir. But, but yeah. But May yes, have been sir. a little more, but go ahead. Yes, sir. He did. Um, mm -hmm. And I accepted. And we sat down and talked about it. A few days later, I did come through to uh, take some measurements, see how much pain I needed for the job and this and that. But then a few days after that, um, I, I got a little ill in my legs and things. I have trouble standing a long time on my legs or even walking a distance. So um, I couldn't go back and really do the job, but then I, I, I did have some of the money. And, you know, and being broken, unemployed, I, I spent it. Uh, but I'm also thinking that he was going to give me the other end of the money. And uh, After you finished the work? Yeah. Did you finish the work? No, sir. Why? You could have hired somebody to do it. Say, my brother gave me a $5,000, $10,000 job to do A, B, C, D. Hire somebody, pay him $8,000, and you got $2,000 in your pocket. You know that. Mm. Uh, much game as you ran on people. <laughs> you know the game inside and out, up and down. <laughs> So, I know the life you've been out there living, that's you gotta know it. All right, but you're gonna have to pay him back. <laughs> so, I'm gonna grant his $5,000 judgment. I'll see you shortly because I wanna take a picture with I can't you wait. on mine. Thank you, Judge Your Honor. Right. Have right. a blessed day. Mm -hmm. Love you, man, anyway. I love you, anyway, boy. <laughs>
Come on, Max, take the words with me. I just, uh, I thank the court and I love my brother. I look forward to doing more work with him. And uh, I thank Judge Mathis, my daughter, love him. And I can't wait to go back in the back and tell him I thank him so much. You ain't mad at him, dude. I ain't mad at you at all, bro. But I am a little mad at him. <laughs> oh, God. He got this judgment <laughs> that I got to pay now. But um, I, it's, it's fine because I, I'll stress him to, to make a. Uh, Robert Smokeburger. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So. Yes. But I, I'm very proud of my brother. Um, I, I I love him dearly. Uh, I did I did the things I did, but you know I'm willing to fix it, and we'll we'll work it out.